Hello and welcome back to the Schmuseum, where today, Tom, I think we're going to bankrupt ourselves. Well, I think one of us is. <laughs> yeah, it's mammoth time. We need to run a few errands, but what we've quickly worked out, I say we, because I've only driven the car a very short distance. You drove it a hundred and a bit miles. I bet a little over a hundred miles. Brad's driven it a couple of hundred miles. Brad, Brad has done the most, yeah, he's enjoyed it and gone. He's making the most of this opportunity whilst it's here. Because it's not very normal you have a 1,000 horsepower truck in the UK. No. The only problem is it's just shy of three tons. Yep. It's a massive engine. It's not good for the maths of saving money on fuel, shall we say. No. But we need to go and, well, we're going to go and pick up a few things. We're going to head today on a run to Ikea. It's been a while. I want to pick up a couple more cabinets because I've got too much Lego and it all has to go somewhere. Yes, I think at some <laughs> point you're going to have to stop buying Lego, but yeah, all you've done in the past couple of days is talk about all of the upcoming sets that you want to buy. Yeah, and um, we've got a very practical beastie here to take, so we're we going to take this over. I think we've probably got a couple of other places we need to stop off as well. I mean, I think there's places we'll find to stop off. We're, we're in yeah. a mammoth, like we'll just, we'll, we'll just stop places randomly. See what, see what people think of this. Yeah. Also, touch a little bit on the missing V12 Ferrari at the moment. We can explain where and why a little bit later. We might be able to go and see that as well. Maybe even pick it back up. We'll see. Um, I think I can't remember what we've said at this point. It's one of those like the M8 story, isn't it? Where is it, Tim? Where is it? Where's the M8? Where's the, where's the Lusso? Both. Where's both? Where's the M8? And I still don't know. Still hasn't come back down. We haven't found it yet. So the M8 <laughs> is off somewhere. Um, we do have some exciting news at long last about the next progress that we're going to be making here at the garage. Um, lifts. We've got a few more Benpack Auto Stacker A6Ws. So the same lift that we have here, these same four. We have three more on the road. They're going to be here very soon on the way. Um, and when they're in, obviously that will continue this line especially with the growing number of cars, because this place looks pretty full right now. And this is without like seven or eight cars, I think. There's still a few missing. I mean, the yeah. SLS isn't here. The Amira is soon to arrive. The Zenvo is soon to arrive. So we're going to get quite full. GT500 is coming over. GT500, Clio V6, Lusso, GT Black Series. It's becoming a problem. I'm sure there'll be a couple of other random. There might be another solution to this lack of space, but you have to stay tuned on that one. Or just sell loads of cars. I mean, that's one solution. That's not the solution I was going for. I've got, I've got a better solution. I've got a much better solution. Um, but yeah, I think everything is actually pretty clean and tidy right now, apart from this. Yeah. Driving this thing, and listen, you, you took it for a run. You've been around town a little bit with it. It's freaking huge. It is, but do you know what? It's, it's shocking. I'm not going to say it shrinks around you, don't, because that would be silly. Don't tell me you get in this and you feel like it's... I don't feel like it's as big as it is. When you're on a country lane somewhere, yes, but as soon as you're in town on the motorway on slightly wider roads, like buses drive in town, it's not... It's wider like, than a bus. It is. <laughs> I actually was sat behind a bus and it is slightly wider, but if a bus can fit through, I'm going to fit this through. And then, yeah, I mean, I tell you what, what if we got like a tarpaulin in the back and made it a moving swimming pool? You have a swimming pool at the Schmuseum. Do you know what? I think, <laughs> don't, of, like, don't tempt me. I think that's not a terrible idea, especially of, with the weather. Yeah, kind of need it with the sunshine at the moment. It's going to be warm in here later on. I've failed to close that properly. And it would be, no. in comparison to the <laughs> typical kind of little paddling pools you buy yourself here in the UK, yeah. we would be going full Texas yeah. and going big. And yeah, doing unusual stuff. So. We kind of need to work out what's going on. Brad is actually just finishing up an edit at the moment. He is, he is he's editing. In, he's in there, he is. Definitely. He's editing a mammoth while we talk about a mammoth. As soon as that's done, we will get on the road and we'll go work out where today is going to take us. Because I'm way too obsessive with these things and picked up this whole run of IKEA cabinets, IKEA Rudster cabinets for anybody wondering, we've talked about all of this before, very easy to get and they display Lego really nicely and they fit the big ones. But I actually want to open and build these i know what you're thinking because this mclaren f1 car is the pre when they changed the design and they yeah. had to re-release it basically i think we should get a re-release to build and leave that one in the box no no i'm going to build that i'm going to build the chiron and i'm going to build the daytona which i need to get here as well and um all of that needs building but the problem is the cabinets are completely full so they are. i have this idea to move these ones out there to have all of these cars somewhere around the actual cars. Okay. That's kind of in my, in okay. my head at the moment and to continue the run of the smaller cabinets here. 
This is what's in my head. I have no idea if this is going to work or if it's going to be a really bad idea. But Can I then, just say what I've just realised as well? Like, we've actually always had a big American pickup truck here at the <laughs> museum. I completely hadn't really realised that. Well, not for long, because that isn't that old, that model, I think, that said. Um, but obviously, this is the, the temporary solution. This is yeah. the, the temporary temporary that's become more permanent than we might have thought it was going to be, but it is still like this for the time being. Hey, it works. But given... Obviously, when the F1 car is all done, that's going to be here. So that will all be the storage. The F1 car will live about here because it doesn't need to be accessed. And we have our chill out area over this way. That's where I'm thinking to have the display of the model cars. I don't know if I'm how to do it, like here or what exactly, but we're kind of learning as we go. To be figured out. Yeah. yeah I'm sure wherever well. we put it, it will then move at some point in the future again. When you're standing here and you look at the Mammoth, the door handles are above the roof of every other car. I mean, it is ridiculous. One thing that, that kind of I realized quite quickly is that the 6.2 litre badge on the bonnet yeah. is almost at head height. I mean, the door mirrors are at head height. Yeah, it's ridiculous. Like, like, it's, when I go and stand next to like, it. I'm, I'm going to stay here just for a scale. When I stand next to it, I literally would smack my face on the door, on the door mirror. <laughs> it like, is ridiculous how huge this thing is. Unnecessary. No, 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 no. Completely, completely necessary. necessary. Yeah, completely necessary. Uh, wait for it. I know what's happening. Brad has the key. Just listen to it. He can't rev it from over there. No, I'm quite glad he can't, because otherwise we'd all go <laughs> deaf right now. But thank you. But that noise is just amazing. All right. He shouldn't be being distracted. No, he shouldn't. You finish editing so we can go for a ride in this thing. He's pressing things on the key. Now he's open. Wait, I'm already zoomed in on his face. I'm zoomed in on that too. I did a Brad the other day when we was in the E-class. Anyway, let's stop distracting him and let's get on the road. It's a change of roles. You've got the key, I've I got have. the camera. Yes, I've managed to grab this from Brad and get it out of his grips. And I think it's time to pull this one outside and get on the road. It's like a climbing apparatus. Yes, I love, again, I love the uh, side steps that just pop out ready for you. It's, um, I should point out at this point, you used to own something of the silk. I, I, yeah, me and a friend used to run around in something very similar. We had an F-150 Raptor, so... Um, this is yeah. like a reminder of good times. Yeah, it's very nostalgic. It's, um, <laughs> yeah, that's why me and him went out for a run in this the other day, and uh, yeah, it just brought it all back. All right, go A little bit bigger, but same sort of thing. Get it started up again for us. Angry. All right, it's funny how big it is. It just makes... Other normally big cars look tiny in comparison. And it's very cool to have a Texas plate here. Very cool to have a Texas plate in here. <laughs> Thanks, Tom. <laughs> this is like the one time where we need a shutter to go all the way up to make sure that it's going to be able to get out. Normally with regular cars, we kind of go up to about here. But this time around, we need it all the way. All right, yeah, a bit of a squeeze. Good thing the shutter is wide enough. Now it's on the road. That super shock of wine is so, so good. Tom's behind the wheel. You don't even need to be going very fast at all to get lots of very good noises out of this. It's brilliant. It is just huge. I'm sitting back here thinking, like, I've got more space in front of me than an extended wheelbase Rolls Royce. In yeah. fairness, you are currently sat in a different postcode to us. But, <laughs> yeah, it, it's quite large. It is that kind of oh, thing. Oh, the cool thing. Hit that button, open the rear window, and then when we want to hear some supercharged V8, we can, and that's barely tickling it. Oh, that's literally just brushing the throttle. And that was two two pounds of petrol. Yeah. <laughs> two pounds gone. Just just a barely a little gentle pass on the throttle pedal and burning through. Never yeah. has the phrase smiles per gallon been more appropriate with a vehicle like this because you can't really justify the fuel cost. And it's only smiles per gallon until you fill it up, see the price, yes. and then have to wipe your tears with a receipt. you're no longer smiling oh, at that point. I was about to say, given Tom's driving, is to fill up on him. Probably. No, this is, this is, a, this is a work trip, Tim, so I believe it's, uh, it's all expensible. It's fair, to, it's fair, to be honest. Although, I don't know if you've got them on, you do have vented seats back there as well. Do I? You do, if your buttons are just here. Where, where is it? Okay. Buttons are just here. Not heated seats, we know on that. Yes, no, I've got my vented seats. seats. All five cord seats. I've got, I've got four USB ports for the back. Yep, I have four here. There's one more in here. Um, there's just everything. Where is he going? 
this guy. <laughs> he is incredibly brave. The Arch of Wembley, just up a front. Up a front, just up in front. In the sunshine. The weather we have today, and we've had over like the weekend, has been insane. It's been nuts. I mean, I think yesterday I saw 34 and a half degrees on the um, temperature display, which is just crazy. That's not England. No. Well, not normal in England. No. No, very much not. But um, it's, it's a welcome change, although I think as with us Brits, we complain if it's too cold, we complain if it's too hot. You just can't win. Yeah, <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> it is literally like that. Um, but the thing is, it is a very, it, it's not, it's not like a Mediterranean heat, it's, it's thin, yeah. it's very dry, it's, it's, it's just not nice. Is that it? Thanks, Tim. Yeah. We're almost at our uh, first stop anyway, so we shall join you when we arrive. From one American pickup to another, although this one looks like it's broken down in a yeah. very, very poor place. Okay, this guy's very kindly allowed us to get around. It's kind of cool. Chevrolet, something or other. Yeah, not ideal right there, hey? Now, I'm intrigued to see how you're going to park this. <laughs> uh, <laughs> up on the side of the building? With difficulty, or... Oh, there's a G63 there. Is it G6 or G55, maybe? There are some but, empty um, spaces at the back here, like whole four areas. I, I feel like we're going to need to just see what... I, I want to make it as funny as possible, so I, I intentionally want to find the smallest spaces we can. This is where you've got to try and get it in one, one space. Yes. Not, not like this over two. two. Try and park it over one, just because it would be funny how it basically ends up taking up three. It's the it's the decision. Do you park straight over two, which is obviously a douchey move, or do you park in one, which blocks off three? Hmm. I don't think you can really win. Oh yeah, we're definitely going to stick out. <laughs> Yeah, we're a bit wonky, but it still doesn't really fit in the space. Not too bad. That's on the line of these. Okay, do you know what? At the front, it's not too bad, actually. No, I, I thought it would be way worse than that. I genuinely thought it would be way worse. It's fine. See, I told you, it's fine. But for those in America where trucks like this actually just fit normally into a space, no questions asked. Yeah, right, now, different. Now different. we've done that, do we go and park next to the chap in his Skoda and just wait for him to come out and see his reaction? No, we leave it and we go in. <laughs> Just over this way, we have the mammoth. And we have some people just having a little look around. I don't blame them, because it's just ridiculous in the car park. We were trying to think like, there we go, yep, keep chatting about it, yep. Wait, are they guessing in that G63? Oh yeah, they're the I think G they drivers. Are. That's pretty cool. That makes sense. So they've gone, our G isn't oh. big enough. We're, <laughs> <in a mammoth. laughs> we're so zoomed in on your face and I can't zoom out any more than this. This thing gets so much tension. Round two, checking out the suspension. Which is actually something worth looking at because it's pretty beefy. This is where we can make our lives slightly easier. They have five in stock, that's where they are. So we can avoid the whole oh. jungle. I'm going to show around. this. Yes. So we can Sneaky. go straight to them. Straight to it's aisle cool. five, location we not 12. We basically go straight in the exit to get to that. Basically, I'm sure everyone's been to an Ikea at some point. You have the massive walk around that takes you 15 minutes yep. to get to the one thing you want that's near the exit. We're going to skip that. We're going straight through. Let's go. Play the game. Tim, are we getting a GTR Roadster or, uh, or a Vantage Roadster? <laughs> or some other kind of Roadster. We're getting uh, IKEA Roadster. We're not getting an Aventador Roadster. <laughs> no, definitely not. This is where we just stand there and watch him. Seems to be how it goes, eh? I'm filming. I'm making sure the trolley's stable. Mm-hmm. He's got it. It's funny, as soon as the camera comes on, the pace comes on. I didn't know there was a camera on, honestly. <laughs> okay. Okay, snail pace, Tom. That's fine. Let's drive at that pace, that'll be good. Here we go. Back at the truck. The tailgate's open. Wait a second. What? What's happened? Oh! There's a T Rex in the T Rex. The T Rex has given oh, birth. Baby T Rex. Whoa! How did that. How did that. What are the chances, eh? What's he been up to without telling us? We have another one. I guess we can keep <laughs> this one in this museum at all times when this one goes back yeah. to Hennessy. Crack on. We're all loaded. All right. Perfect. That means I'm going to go put this. That means V8 time. Yes. Um, there's only one way to put coffee to wait. Oh, dear. Oh dear. 
Bye, Tim. <laughs> the thing is, he's hang on. shooting the hang on, hang on, hang on. The car. <laughs> Let him get in first. Yeah, yeah. Oh, he's not. He's not smart enough. No, he's, no, no, wait, he's wait, not wait, silly wait, enough. Wait, 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 wait. I've opened your door. I've opened your door. Your door has been opened round the back. What is going on? What is this clip? Listen to that. And again, like barely squeezing into it. Oh. Yeah, that was literally no from. Back on the road then. We are. With, do you want to show the boot? Take sure. the camera. Yeah, I can take the camera. We'll do an on the fly handover. Yeah. Open the window. There back there with all our boxes. That's quite fun. I mean, never really used a flatbed for anything before right. ever. I mean, the, the annoying thing with those boxes is we probably could fit them in the back here, <laughs> but we have a gigantic pickup truck to use, so why wouldn't we not use the back? There's a whole load of space in here. Well, that failed. It did. <laughs> there we go. Okay, yeah. Oh, oh. <laughs> Poor T-Rex. Poor baby T-Rex. <laughs> and we're back. Doing all the carrying again. Well, you've done all of them this time, have you? I've done half of them. Half Tom's of them. Where's Tom? Brad, you've done a superb job with there the is. camera ready. There he is. To film the moment. Exactly. Ooh. Ikea. Or yeah. Ikea. Nicely done. That. Yeah. There's always one. I knew it would annoy you if I did that, so. I'm actually alright with it because it means nothing's going to fall over. Oh, okay. And given their glass cabinets, probably better. In that case, you're welcome. Yeah, you got it right. For once. Are we pulling the car or the mammoth in? Are we going to leave it out? I am kind of want to take it home tonight, so I'm thinking you might as well just leave it outside. outside. Do you yeah. want to bankrupt yourself again? Again, yeah, I want to take it home again. And On yeah. which note, as like just interest, we just refueled it. <laughs> We're getting back here. <laughs> We've not gone very far to Ikea, but it is more than a pound per mile, yeah. genuinely. Yeah, literally. And what, what's also comical that you pointed out is the fuel to Ikea and back was more than it cost for all three of us to eat and drink. Our at lunch Ikea. at Ikea. So, yeah, like, decently more. In fairness, for me, for me to run that home and back is the same... 100 quid in. It, it, it's the same as I normally spend in a week for one night. It changes. It changes what you can do with a car. Like, even <laughs> I'm like this... I mean, I've done some yeah. good mileage. Which I think is quite funny, because the one, the one with all of this, right, and clearly, you know, a couple of quid for fuel, doesn't want to touch it yet. Me and you have not got out of it, and we've done as many miles as we can. Well, while we're not driving, I want to get moving some cabinets around. You know why? That reason, exactly what we've just said, is why Tim has all of this. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> because because he's, he's not, not stupid jumping, yeah. enough to spend fuel on a mammoth, whereas we, yeah, yeah, we are. I am stupid enough to spend far too much money on fuel. The annual fuel bill with current prices has got a little bit absurd. It is going to have to change. What is your worst car on MPG and how far is it from the mammoth? <laughs> Brad knows. <laughs> the worst Ford car GT. on MPG is the Yes, it is the Ford GT. No, but is it the worst on MPG or is it just tank size? No, or MPG. both? MPG. It is both, okay. Yeah. So really? what is it? Like, lifetime of my ownership is something like 12. Oh, but when we took it to Donington, we were guessing, we got yeah. like 27 or 25? 27 or 28. We cruised 60 miles an hour the whole way there and back basically because of average speed and roadworks. And it was about 27, 28 miles per okay. gallon. I cruised in the Mammoth and got 14. So, yeah, yeah, that's the difference. American 14. That's American 14, isn't it? No, or is that's, it that's UK, UK configured? That's okay. UK. So American okay. 14 is just under 12. UK. Different scales. The US yeah. gallon and the UK gallon are not the same size. So miles per gallon means something different. Yes. Mind blown, confusing. And this is why we have the mini. Yep, right. I'm going in here. I'm going to take the mammoth somewhere. Time for some shuffling around. Yeah. I believe this is the new home for the model cars. Back yeah. out. Yeah. Okay. So Briefly. for the time being, all of these. Uh, Don't I'm drop them. Sketchy, yeah. yeah. For the time being, if you guys are running around with footballs, this is dangerous. 
I, I don't know what on earth you're accusing us of. <laughs> yeah, I like how you just looked at the tape, which I'm just. Well, I was like, what's in your hand? Danger, because we're going to make sure we put it around so the footballs don't come near. This will, this yeah, will, this is like no football. This will stop the footballs. Okay, that's exactly how it's going to work. Magical force field tape. Yeah. It's a funny one. There were so many years, emails, messages, and money as well spent on having all of the model cars, or as many of the model cars as I can have of my car collection. To build all of this up, I just wanted to have it on display. That's part of the reason for me in having this place, is to be able to display stuff like this. And this is obviously not the final position. Eventually it will go into the lounge. But with the new cabinets and the Lego going in there, I wanted for the time being to bring all of this out into a little bit more glory. I mean, there are a few AI that don't have because they haven't made one yet. Models always follow the real cars, like, years later. They don't come out at the same time. Um, obviously, the different model companies have to get the license from that manufacturer. Ooh. Oh, Tom's holding his favourite car. Okay, really, Tom? <laughs> really? I mean, that is why it's here, right? It does go behind. And literally, you bought it. You're holding your favourite car. Say anything about this and... Your favourite thing. We'll, we'll talk off camera. I mean, if you have a Taycan, I do recommend you put it upside down and drop it off the side of a cliff. Okay, don't do that. Wow. It is a good car. You're savage today. I'm just not a fan of it. There's stuff we can't even put in this Obviously video because you've been Tom savage. Is in a right savage mood. There, there's, like, li there's literally parts of this video that I have already know. cut. Yeah, there are, but we all know what I think of this. Yeah. Or what <laughs> I don't think of it, more to the point. <laughs> um, <laughs> no, it is a good car. You know it's a Porsche. Oh, but is it a good car? As, as, in, as EVs go, it's not terrible. Wait, wait, wait. We need to have a replay of that. <laughs> no, it is a good car. You know it's a Porsche. Yeah, perfect. So <laughs> You forgot that we're being creative with some weird editing stuff recently. Right. You forgot that I could just say a word, which means you lose this clip. No, he can cut it. And we're back. <laughs> Come to the words, which I can't put in. <laughs> we can fix that as well. <laughs> yeah. He's not going to win this, is he? No. <laughs> Boom! When can we play football? Where can we play football, Tim? You cannot play football. No, where? More on that in the next video. Duh. Yeah, yeah. We've done a bit more shuffling around. The clue is in the name of the Schmuseum, and this makes it feel a little bit more museum-like. I think yeah. it's fair to say. Yeah, it's like we can actually see everything from all sides. Yeah, it's kind of fun. You know, this collection of model cars has taken me a long time to build up, finding the model cars that go with my real cars, but also privately having the work done to repaint them and change some of them. But the plan longer term is to have maybe some helmets along the bottom, because I've got a lot of cool helmets as well. Like this one? Yes, like that, which came with the Senna from McLaren Manchester. So it's painted to match my Senna. It's got my name and my car number and stuff like that on it. Um, I've got some more shelves being made to come in and we'll need some more cabinets. It's not going to stay there, but for now, that gives a little bit more focus on the model car collection, which I think is quite nice. Talking of model cars and having lots of cars and having lots of cars here and not having a whole lot of space here is quite an interesting one because I think, Brad, correct me if I'm wrong here, the next video is probably going to be the biggest announcement slash news on the Schmuseum channel that we've had since we showed this place for the first time a year ago. I fully agree. Which is quite a big deal and quite exciting. Um, anybody who's been wondering, you know, what the future is going to be, we've mentioned that there are going to be some more Benpack Auto Stacker lifts. That's a short term solution because clearly we're going to run out of space quite quickly. Yep. But the reason that hasn't been progressing as fast as we might have liked it to is that we've been focused on other new things, other new solutions. <laughs> I'm being so cryptic and confusing here, yeah. aren't I? I'm just here grinning behind the camera like, yeah. I know what's going on and you know yeah. what's going on, but... We can't say it all. You guys are going to have to stay tuned for the next update. But let's just say we're not short of space. We're not short of space at all. And there's been something in the works for a very long time. A very, very, very long time. And there's something else we need to show you. I'm so excited about the next video. I'm so excited. Anyway, I think for today, it's been a bit of a random run in the mammoth. Random run, yes, which is outside at the moment. Because Tom's going to take it later and go and cause some trouble. And bankrupt and, himself And bankrupt himself again. twice over. Because yeah. that's what happens. So we'll leave it for there. Until next time.